it's a rather cruddy day here in central Iowa today. Right now it's about, I think it's about nine degrees wind chill. I don't know what the wind chill is. It's supposed to get down wind chill wise. We're supposed to be 20 to 30 below zero tonight. Wind's supposed to keep blowing the rest of the day. And as you just saw, I turned the heater on in the shop. It is, it is a little cold down here with, with that wind, and with that wind blowing, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep it very warm down here. Two thousand years later. So the heater finally shut off. It got somewhat warm in here. Still blowing outside right now. The wind chill is negative twelve, I believe. Old Mama Kitty's camped out right now. So I don't think I'm gonna stay down here and work on the Bronco tonight. May try to come back down here tomorrow. Wind isn't supposed to be blowing so hard and it should stay a little warmer in here. But what I think I'm gonna do, or what the plan is right now, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cap the ends on this, on this tube that I'm turning into the rear sill and, and, uh, and there goes the heater. Okay, so like I was saying, I'm gonna cap the ends on this tube which is three by five and I got it marked off. I don't know if you can see it or not, but have it marked off here on this. This is, this is part of those floor panels. And I've got some more of that over there too. It's heavier stuff than just the sheet metal like I would cut out of the hood or something like that. It's, it's quite a bit heavier. And so that's what I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna weld these up and then, and then I believe I think this will work. I'm going to take this, which is, this is for the other side, and it puts some air in that tire. Again, this is that rocker on the other side with the pillar on it, and so that one should work for the other side. This one was already, was already cut to this size. It doesn't fit 100% perfectly yet, but I'm thinking what I can do just get that up in there like that. Cut it off over here, uh, over here where my thumb is somewhere, and then bend it back. And then should be able to bend this forward just a little bit. Make it line up, make it line up up there. And then weld that on down there. So when it gets welded on, it'll look something like that. This will be welded down here on the bottom and then it'd be welded up here on the top. I don't know if I'm gonna fold the back. I don't know, yeah, clear over into here or I may just cut it off right, yeah, I better do something in there. I'll figure that out when I, when I come to it. But that's my thinking on that right now, do that on both sides. This side over here, this is cut up quite a bit higher than it is on that side over there, but I think I have enough material to make that work. So I'm gonna give it a shot. I, I think it'll work okay. And it's cooling off in here mighty fast. So I'm gonna turn the heater back on. I'm going to attempt to do, attempt to do something down here tonight, but I may just have to call it quits because it's uh, getting pretty darn cold. Well, it is the next day and I've got the rocket engine heater going over here, trying to get it warm in here. And this morning my wife is gonna take her old Tahoe to work because the roads and stuff are still kinda still kinda crappy. And wouldn't you know it wouldn't start? Of course the wind chill is about 25 below this morning. Right now it's about 17 below. Chance of snow here this afternoon. Not not a lot, and then more over the weekend. I don't think we're supposed to get too much, but See if we can't get this old girl fired up here. This thing has about going on 300,000 miles on this. Yeah, let's see. First, will it start? I got it, Mike. Hey, what do you know? I guess I don't have to charge it up. Well, I'm just going to let her sit here and run for a while then. Take this stuff back inside. Oh, battery charger. Looks like it's seen better days. She's rather old. So we'll get this put away, let the shop warm up, and uh, get on with business.
So I got this uh, sill tube, whatever you want to call this, rear tube back here that I put on, capped off. Step in the light there, but got that welded on there, looking pretty good. And I need to go, need to go over there and do the other side. And then I think I need to hold off on. I think I need to hold off on putting wherever that piece is. I need to hold off on tying this all together quite yet, but it's going to end up being you know, being something like that. But I think I need to hold off until I get. I need to patch that yet, and then also need a little bit over here. Get that all done, and. Then, I know it's been mentioned in the comments before about putting the tailgate on here, and I agree that would probably be a smart idea, so I need to figure out how I'm gonna do that. And for you that don't know, these Bronco tailgates are darn heavy. That's why they use that little torsion bar to help them, uh, help them close. They're, they're pretty heavy. And the way these sides are, I'm not gonna hang a tailgate off of that the way it is, so need to tie this side to that side one way or another. I think and try to get the tailgate positioned in there before you go permanently welding these sides on. I mean, you could always cut it apart, but I'd rather not do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plug this into the tube up and then get, get going on patching this all up in here. And I just turned the heater off. It's already starting to cool down in here. We're up to a balmy negative four wind chill outside. It's supposed to get down to negative 16 again tonight. But I do have it warmed up fairly good in here. The heater just kicks on an awful lot. I have it, have it turned off right now, but I'm gonna have to turn it back on here in a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna do there. And I have yet to see this myself. Just, uh, just received a shirt today. One of my own shirts, it has the, the newest design on the back of it. I have a hoodie like this, but I don't have, I don't have a t-shirt yet. So, let's see what these are like. Not bad. Then it has the Fox Shop logo on the front. So a couple different designs. This is on the back of the hoodie I was wearing earlier. And this is the flag one with, uh, with the Fox Shop down, down one of the stripes. And there's also another variation. This has the big Fox Shop logo on the back and the front. Well, the front's a small one, but on the back it's a great big one. Link for that kind of stuff down in the description. And like always, if you have a license plate or anything else that you would like to send into the Fox Shop, address where you can do so, that's down there as well. Channel stickers, those are, those are also down there. So I am going to, like I said, I'm going to go over to the other side and plug that tube up just like that and then get to patching things up. Just a whole lot of cutting, fitting, well not a lot of fitting on that, but, but it all has to be done. Then we'll, we'll work on the rest of this floor here, get this patched up. This shouldn't take too long. Once I get the sides welded on, I'm going to come in and we'll weld this all down. And I think we'll be sitting pretty good. Probably need to drill out all these, uh, all these old spot weld places here so the new quarter panel can use those holes to get welded on. Also got a ton of them along in here that probably need to drill out. Won't take very long to do that. So we're getting there. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. And you can catch more Bronco stuff over at Central Oregon Shenanigans. They have a 78 Bronco they're doing. They just put a lift on it. Has a couple videos on that. James and Kyle over there, they're, they're working on that. And uh, go check them out. I'll link them down below and on the end screen. So that's going to do it for this video. Give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.